Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, it's going to be a short one. It's going to be a short flight with the DJI Avada 2. That's right, we're going to take it for a little spin, but um, we're going to check out one of the frequencies, the 5.8 frequency at 60 megahertz, right? Um, when you put the manual settings on the channel, right, you only get one channel available, which is channel one, which will be the designated channel. And let's see how it works. There'll be two parts of the video. Uh, the first part will be from the goggles. You can see everything, the megabytes per second um, and all the other OSD information. And in the second video will just be the original footage, right? From the drone, which was recorded at 4K at 60 frames per second. Um, so by default, out of the box, this thing um, has an amazing range setting. Um, but you be the judge. Without any further ado, come, let's get started. Let's fly away. This is some footage I got from the, the goggles. Uh, you can see here, we've got about 60 megabytes per second, which is really neat. Um, as remember, this is the Avada 2 uh, operating at 5.8G uh, uh, signal, right? With 60 megahertz on channel one. So when you have it set to manual, right? Not manual mode, but um, manual in, in the sense of your channel settings, right? Uh, you, you select 5.8G, 60 megahertz, and then there's only one channel there, which is channel one. But it's, it's kind of interesting how the signal stays at 60, because if you've seen my previous video with the FCC hack, the most I get is about 25 here, it drops between 30 and 40, um, which is okay. Um, usually with the Avada one, uh, there was no dropping in signal until I actually left the property up in the air. So, you know, there was some sort of glitch there, but as you can see, it's still maintaining 60, which is really neat. It kind of makes you wonder if there's really a need for the FCC hack, right? Considering you're getting a boost uh, better than, um, than, than what you get with the FCC hack because 60 is definitely better than 25, right? But we'll have to see if the FCC hack actually gives us more. Um, but look at this, really nice, smooth sailing. Um, it does give you a lot of power. You feel like you're flying uh, with the access motors on the Avada 1, like it's comparable to that when it comes to the experience, um, when the agility, the speed, because it basically goes from like zero to you know 100 in a matter of seconds, right? Um, and so as you can see now, this is where signal, um, well, not here, probably when the next loop around, I'll, I'll fly over, um, but here I slow down because there's just a little bit too much power. And I had a similar experience with the Avada motor upgrade. I had too much power in that area. I had to just slow down, you know, on the turns, you always want to go slow, but with, with the, uh, by default with the Avada too, you get a lot of power. And right about here, I believe is where I take off, right? And go beyond. Um, the property line uh, and then just going out into the park. I actually have someone in the park there with walkie-talkie um, spotting me when they can see the drone from the field. But besides that, look at this, 53, uh, 54, which is mm, okay. It starts to drop, but um, for me, I turn back because I get a little warning with high wind velocity. But when you pause it, the signal was about to go down and get a little warning. But if you hold the drone, right let it let it hover in the air and then keep going you um you tend to uh, the signal picks up again so i'm going to try that again um you know just on a less windy day and see how the signal picks see i get high wind velocity warning because um that's the trick to to keeping the signal and giving it that extra boost that it needs is to just pause and keep going but this is a video from the goggles which is really good it's 1080p and, I, and it's just phenomenal um and I, I believe it's yeah 1080p but the next video i'm going to show you i add a little music to it uh is actually from the drone itself which is uh at 4k 60 frames per second which is just phenomenal but look if you remove the text from the goggles you'll get just as good of a video Right, so let's check out what's a little bit of music.
kind of neat. I like it. It held out pretty good. It went pretty far. It went just as far, a little bit further um, than the Avada one with the FCC hack in a similar flight. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be doing a range test with the drone tweaks application and see how that actually works out. But so far, so good, I have to say. And just, it's amazing that the range you get by default without having to implement the FCC hack. But, you know, we're in a, a, a few more tests because sometimes, you know, you need that extra range when uh, in a closed in area or their buildings, etc. But it's, I'm impressed and um, hopefully you guys are too. Anyway, that pretty much sums it up for this video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.